It's the weekend. You know what that means. It's time for another long weekend of sales. Coming at you right after this. Never took a left. Oh, that car was a jack of the Oh my god, oh my god. This looks terrible. All right, so good morning. The reason I say good morning is because it actually is morning here. It's Sunday, uh, August 29th at 10.30 in the morning. The reason we are starting this video on Sunday is we had a fair amount to do yesterday. Um, we had to get some sourcing in along with a birthday party and a few other things in the evening that we needed to get accomplished. So never actually got around to filming this video. Um, so figured film it in the morning. So you're getting part of Sat most all of Saturday sales and a little bit of Sundays. Saturday wasn't that good, to be honest with you. It seems like a lot of people are probably doing other things the last couple weekends of summer. So it was a little slow. Um, did pick up a little bit during the day and then uh, overnight uh, had some decent sales as well. So is what it is. Um, we are going to get started, though, with what sold, uh, starting with this. Sarah found this while she uh, just stopped at a thrift store on her way to her mom's house. This is a Pokemon bed sheet. Um, it's just a flat sheet with Pokemon on it. Um, sold for decent money too, 16 bucks plus shipping. Paid a dollar for it, so can't beat that. Um, getting back into our uh, activewear, these are Under Armour uh, tights, uh, size 2X. Uh, sold for 12 bucks plus shipping. Sold some laser discs. Um, I don't know this movie. Nothing but a man. Um, yeah, don't know this movie at all, but nothing but a man, still sealed, laser disc, along with body music. <laughs> uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, it says, uh, a magical encounter between music and eroticism. Okay. This one is not sealed. Um, obviously, $17 for both of them, plus shipping. Had to do a little battery change there. Uh, it was showing fully charged and empty. So, uh, all right. Next up, we have some Gap Crop Slouch Bib Denim Blue Jeans. So these are uh, overalls, denim uh, women's denim overalls. Right here. Um, these are size extra large. Sold for twenty three dollars plus shipping. So the Cabbage Patch. This one's also a little special. Uh, we sold the Matador last week, and uh, this, it's a Spanish dancer, like the flamenco or something. <laughs> um, she's a 1980s Cabbage Patch, uh, Spain world traveler girl, brown hair, one tooth, as you can see there. She's got her dress on little dancing shoes. She is ready to go. Um, she sold for $35 plus shipping. So the book, it's an odd one. <laughs> I do not have much to say about this one, to be perfectly honest with you. This is Vintage Eugenics, published in 1937. Sane Sex Life, Sane sex living uh, 10 bucks for this though plus shipping no comment from here on out on that because there's nothing I want to get into on that next up we've got some cocktail napkins this came from the funeral home these are highball cocktail napkins um, they don't seem very disposable but they are they're very high quality they really are and they're really awesome. Um, these are wraparound English cocktail highball napkins. Uh, 20 bucks for the box, plus shipping. So one of our last creepy doll heads. Here it is. Um, this is an authentic creepy doll. It's a German 
George Borgfeldt. Um, Bistol head, six inch Bistol head from the 1900s. She has been repaired. Um, markings on the back are pretty clear that this is authentic. Um, so, and now obviously you can tell she has been pieced back together with glue and such. Um, <clears throat> these are still worth a good amount of money, even in the, the kind of damaged state this one is in. 30 bucks plus shipping. I got this um, from an auction. These were, um, somebody had like a collection of Beatles. Um, magazines and this is uh time magazine from september september 22nd 1967 the beatles they're in car their incarnation yeah that's what it says right there um 15 bucks for this plus shipping got some jeans cut from the same cloth um farrah baby boot cut jeans these are size four women's jeans right there um, these actually sold for decent money, $11.20 plus shipping, so um, maybe keep an eye out for that brand if you can get them cheap enough right there. Or Under Armour shorts here. These are Under Armour men's running shorts. These are those running shorts. I would not be caught dead in. They are a little too short for my taste. Um, these are new with the tags, Under Armour shorts. There's a tag right here, $17.20 plus shipping. Another one of those dragons, 2005 two headed Hydra Dragon. Whoop. Scary. Two headed Hydra Dragon. Wouldn't want to see this thing coming at you in the middle of the night. No, definitely not. 11.50. Plus shipping. And last for today, the Barbie. Um, this is Macy's Limited Edition City Shopper Barbie. And yeah, so. Well what I would expect a city shopper Barbie to look like there. Got her Macy's bag. She's ready to go. She's ready to hit the town except she's missing a shoe. She fell off. It's down there. But you don't want to be walking through the city with bare feet. Twelve, I'm sorry, $12. $22.50 for this. Plus shipping. Morning everybody. I say morning because it is morning in fact right here. It is Monday morning. Uh, about 10 o'clock Monday morning and uh, weekend sales were kind of crappy um, I would say next to dismal um, Saturday afternoon picked up Sunday afternoon picked up but it really wasn't what we're used to um, for a weekend so and I, I'm probably saying this is it sounds like an excuse but it probably is true it's kind of the last two full weekends of summer. So there's a lot of people traveling. There's a lot of people, you know, doing things outside. We've had some bad weather. So all things could kind of lead into the, this being not the best weekend for resellers. And I'm sure some of you may be experiencing that as it happens. So uh, we did do okay. Um, we did some uh, interesting, some new things. We had our first sale on Macari, first sale on, well, fourth sale on Poshmark. So we'll start with those since they are here and they are up on my screen. Uh, first sale on Macari was these. These are Nike Air Flight Classics right here. Um, they aren't the vintage ones. They are the remakes of the Air Flight right here from what I understand. I'm in really good shape too. Got a fair amount of tread on them. Um, color's pretty good. So forth and so forth. Happy that these sold the way they did. Um, seems like Macari might be a good avenue for shoes. They are size 12s. They sold for $30. Plus shipping. Um, on to Poshmark. Our Poshmark sales for the weekend. We sold uh, this Nike tank top here. Bright orange logo tank tops. Size large. Um, that sold for $12. Plus shipping. And then we sold another one. This is a Nike running tank top, new with the tags. Uh, right here. It is a Pro Combat. I'm sorry, it's not a tank top. It's a just a t-shirt. Actually, I have the wrong thing in my hand. It's this one. <laughs> it's this one. We have a blue Nike tank top. Um, new with the tags. Sold for $13. Plus shipping. So, got that right now. Uh, this one did sell, but it sold on eBay. We'll go over that in just a moment. Um, so, moving on to eBay sales. These are for mostly for Sunday. Um, it is Monday morning, so obviously we haven't had much sell quite yet. Um, so, starting off with everybody's favorite. 
the Cabbage Patch. Um, this is a Cabbage Patch doll, blonde hair, green eyes, dimples, closed mouth. There she is there. She's got a diaper on. Obviously, she has a few issues with her. Sorry, my phone went off during mid-sentence, so this editing's probably going to look a little weird. Um, she has a few issues with her. Obviously, no pants, missing a shoe. Um, $18 for her, plus shipping. I'm sorry. $18 plus shipping. Next up is this. Uh, we got this at... Um, well, you saw kind of briefly on Monday. You didn't see us actually go in and get it. We just kind of explained it in the car. This is that um, jack-o'-lantern candy jar or cookie jar. Cookie slash candy jar is what it says. Um, we paid $2.99 for this. Um, sold for $24. Plus shipping. Sold some New York and Company suiting collection. Gray and black pad plaid pants. Size 12. Um, I believe this was another Sarah clean out here. Uh getting rid of some of her professional clothes now that she doesn't go into an office anymore. Eight bucks for these. Plus shipping. First one finally sold. So you guys know she didn't keep them. Here they are. <laughs> it's a Playgirl magazine. Um, from September 1989. Ten sexiest men of the year. I am not in this magazine, just in case anybody was wondering. Sixteen dollars for that one big magazine. Plus shipping. Another good pickup for us is this. Um, a friend of ours had bought a storage unit uh, full of a bunch of stuff from a teacher, and this was in it. It's a 1993 Hello Kitty pencil case. I had a similar pencil case, not Hello Kitty, mind you. I believe it was Transformers. Um, but I had this similar style where there's like the this opens like so, and then there's like all these buttons here that do different things, like a little secret drawer there and then this button opens that uh, and then there's for the pencil sharpener right there pretty cool uh, one of them's <laughs> a thermometer right there so you can tell how hot it is in your teacher's room I guess um, but yeah pretty cool thing here $38.40 for this plus shipping the Hello Kitty stuff can be very collectible uh, now on to the shirt that I made the mistake on the first time. This is that Nike Dry Fit Pro Combat Core 2.0 crew neck shirt, size medium, $15 for this. Uh, new with the tags, as you can see right there, plus shipping. Keep it with the Nike family and show you this. We sold another tank top. Um, even winding down summer, tank tops are still selling well. Here, here it is. This is a Nike Futura player red athletic tank top size large new with the tag uh, $18 for this plus it found our first one we bought a we fit board um, really cheap on an auction I think it was like three bucks or something like that we paid for it and um, we put it on and we Sarah was procrastinating putting it on for quite a while and then she opened it up to take a look at it and this was in here um, we have never found one of these <laughs> this is the first one during that whole big like thing where people were paying like 40 50 dollars for this game um but we put it on the the disc is in there and it is pretty clean disc uh we put it on and it sold in a matter of minutes we got a bunch of offers and we just held strong 16 bucks free shipping for wii sports um we probably could have gotten 20 out of it but uh you know we got it for essentially free so we're not mad about selling that. Um, next up is this. It's a You Are the Cream in My Coffee. Creamer. Right here. How precious. Um, Ten bucks for this. Uh, it would have gone for a little more, but there's a, a chip right there, which we have disclosed. Um, so ten bucks plus shipping. Next up is this. Um, interesting story. I talked about it a little bit on the live on Sunday. This is a uh, Nike England 2004 World Cup soccer jersey. This has been on our eBay for almost a month and nothing. No offers, no nothing. And then yesterday when I started cross-listing things, um, this along with one of the tank tops down there, the blue one, um, had been on our eBay for a little while. And since I cross-listed them, it seems like it bumped things up in the eBay al algorithm and this finally sold to $13. Plus shipping. Could have been a coincidence, but it seems unlikely. Um, we had a buyer reach out to us about these 
dickies that we have we have those new old stock dickies um, and somebody said hey I'll give you $25 a pair I'll buy two of them and we said okay um, so here's one of them right here um, new old stock dickies made in the USA um, and then oh I'm sorry they bought three total there's two here so um, and then we have this pair here they're all really different as you can tell <laughs> Uh, and then this pair here. Um, they're all size, one size 33, 32, the other two are size 34, 32. Um, grand total for all three of them, $75 plus shipping. Hello everybody. I'm attacked by stickers down here. Welcome to Monday, the sequel. Monday, August 30th, the sequel. More importantly, um, we, we got on kind of a, we had that birthday party right in the middle of Saturday and uh, we had a few things to do after the birthday party so basically we shipped everything from uh, Friday evening well early evening uh, overnight on Saturday morning then we shipped everything from Saturday on Sunday morning and now we're ship we shipped everything from Sunday on Monday morning but we're gonna get back on schedule with this because we're gonna do two Mondays and ship everything from Monday evening tonight so that we're back on our normal schedule starting tomorrow um, so we're going to start off with this. This is a Star Wars shot glasses, the Christmas shot glasses right here. We got these at an auction, um, and they sold relatively quick, $14 free shipping. <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you about this, but um, not because it's worth a lot of money, but because this is something that a lot of people would buy if they saw it at a flea, flea market or a garage sale. This is Elvis's Worldwide Gold Hits, and it looks like something that probably would be worth some money, and it's not. Um, it's worth okay money. It was four bucks plus shipping is what we sold it for. Um, it is Elvis's Greatest Hits, but I know a lot of you that uh, ask us questions about records and things like that, so this is something that, you know, you want to look at, but maybe not pick up, because there's a lot of these records in existence, so four bucks for the Elvis plus shipping. I think we're down to our last one of these. This is that Royal Copenhagen men's cologne or aftershave. Um, it uh, we bought them for a dollar at a garage sale, uh, beginning of the season, and uh, we've sold mostly. I think all of them. It's ten dollars plus shipping. Sold a, a friend of ours had a bunch of these, and we bought a few of them. These are like power banks. You, it's just basically a battery that you charge and you can use it to charge your phone or take it with you and so forth. Um, good for camping and stuff like that. Uh, $11.60 for this Plus shipping. <clears throat> Here's another thing that looks like it's worth a lot of money, but it is not. This is uh, Superman 75, the death of Superman uh, collector's cover. Um, we got these from uh, Drew over at Profit Monsters. And, uh, you know, I mean, for a comic book, it's worth okay money, but you'd think it'd be worth like something like 10 to $15. It is not. It's worth four bucks plus shipping. So it's some Adidas sweatpants. We got these at a thrift store. Um, these are just uh, Adidas sweatpants. The black stripe down the side. They are size medium. $8.40 plus shipping. It's a belt buckle. Uh, good one, too. This is a Vietnam new old stock belt buckle. It says Vietnam veteran on it. Pretty cool uh, belt buckle. $14.80 for this belt buckle. Plus shipping. Sold a lot of the Easy Rider magazines. We got a bunch of them from a friend of ours. Um, and these are Easy Rider magazines right here. Uh, they're still in the plastic. Um, let's see, we've got... Uh, can't see the dates on these because they're covered up. Uh, but it looks like 1993. Oh, they're on the side here. Uh, October 98, 1996, uh, 1999, right here. Um, $17 for all these. Uh, there's a lot of one, two, three, four, five. One of them is the Harley 95th reunion special. Uh, so 17 bucks for these. Pull it. Shipping. All right, everybody, and that wraps up the long weekend of sales. Um, this weekend wasn't wonderful. Um, it was kind of slow. And I, you know, as much as I hate making excuses, it probably is. A lot of people are traveling. Um, it's one of the last two weekends left uh, in summer. Well, summer. Um, a lot of people are going back to school. So there's, you know, a lot of things going on. And that tends to lead to a little bit of a slower uh, sales weekend. And it happens. So not a big deal. Um, 
yeah and that's about it if you guys enjoyed this video i'd appreciate it if you give it a like and uh if you haven't already and you've made it this far you might as well just subscribe to the channel um uh, got uh you know we do thrift store things bin goodwill bins flea markets auctions you name it if they're selling we'll be there and that's about it for this week and this weekend thank you so much for watching bye good day sir